for the length of the motor wires on the 5 and 6 inch frame you can get away by only stripping back the silicon on the cobras and still have room for the ESC power wires to cross over and reach the PDB. Although it's a bit more work, I prefer to strip back this heat shrink and solder the termination of the windings directly to the ESC. To strip back the heat shrink, a method is to use the curved scissors, placing the tip underneath the heat shrink and gently cutting using the curve and the tip to stay underneath the heat shrink. Taking it from both sides if necessary and then remove. And now with a decent sized tip at 400 degrees, clean the tip, tin and remove the silicon wires. Trim them evenly and then tin with the solder that you're using a couple of times to dilute whatever solder was there to begin with. Repeat for all motors. Take the 16 M3 by 6 motor screws. Check the orientation of the 1619 mounting pattern for your motors. The motor screw holes in the alien arms are designed to stop the screws sliding. So you can place them in the 1619 pattern and they won't move. You can use two or all four screws. If you do choose to mount with only two screws, I prefer the 16mm centers because it's closer to the hub that supports the, the base of the motor. That is what the stator joins to. Although it seems counterintuitive that the 19mm the would give a wider stance, you can see that they're further out from the strength of that hub. Align the motor to those screws. Just start the threads first to make sure all thread easily and then tighten all until they touch the arm and then very gently each one just a slight twist repeating the pattern to keep an even tension on the motor. Repeat that until tight. Mount all four motors and then with a pair of pliers just shape the wires so the ends of the motor wires tilt down slightly. This is so as you solder it and you put pressure on that wire it will flatten down and make good contact. Measure a 35mm length of 10mm heat shrink and cut and slide over the ESC and just pass the first row of FETs. Lift the motor wires and slide the ESC into place and then with a twist tie or similar secure the ESC in place ready for soldering. Now the clean iron a small amount of solder on the tip quickly heat and press down. Refresh solder heat press down. After that, remove the twist tie and slide the heat shrink into place. And don't shrink the heat shrink until the power system is tested. Repeat for all ESCs, and then place the signal wires underneath the frame for clear access to the power wires. For the little bees, cross the wires and leave some slack. As the quad crashes, these arms can bend back and there needs to be some slack in these wires to allow for that flex in the frame. Measure the wire and cut to size. Repeat for all ESCs and then strip. Tin all of those leads. and 
and solder to the PDB. You can heat up the PDB first to get some heat and then heat the wire and the PDB together. Take four M3 by 12 cap screws and four of the standoffs. Place them through from the underside one at a time and thread the standoff on top. Hold the standoff with a spanner. I'm using a Turnergy 6mm turnbuckle wrench and tighten from underneath. Now use two of the 3mm spacers from the top plate and shorten the standoff thread to 6mm. Take two female JST pigtails, measure them to 5cm and shorten, strip, twist, tin, and join them to the PDB. Tidy up the wires and this completes the first step of the chassis.